Hello, uh, in this video I'll show you how to use new Reifier Shatter modifier. This is a new feature in Reifier Build 1.71 and it allows you to fragment your object into thousands of tetrahedrons, which I'll call you later just tets. And later you can uh, group them into clusters and detach as noisy fragments or you can add up apply some damage. Or we can do both of them at the same time. And uh, first rollout is lattice here and this rollout you can uh, initiate fragmentation and define the density of your lattice here. So let's, if we will go to this lattice level here, you will see its density right now. It's pretty low level, even though there is about one and a half thousandths of tetrahedrons. So let's increase the density here using these X, Y, Z spinners. So now you can see there is much more, about uh, eighty thousandths of tetrahedrons. And when you start fragmentation. Now we can see there are just uh, 11 thousands of actual uh, tetrahedrons. This is because our lattice is uh, bigger than actual geometry here. And you can decrease the size of lattice of this offset using this offset spinner. Uh, let's use 5. Now you can see there is about the same amount of uh, lattice tets and mesh tets. And using noise you can add some noise. Uh, let's turn it off. Uh, using noise you can uh, add some noise by default it's 100% but if you will set to zero you'll set you'll see this original lattice here uh, right now there's only one type of lattice available here but later we will add some more so there will be some choice uh, let's use 100 right now and using seat property you can define this random seat of this noise and the last property is this uh, limit this is kind of fuse uh, property so let's say if it will be to 20, 20 thousands and I will I will fragment and let's say I will increase density uh, if it will be if a lot of stats amount will be higher than limit um, fragment button will be turned off uh, but amount of 200 thousands is enough so let's fragment it again okay now we fragmented our object uh, as you can see there is one right now 1062,000 polygons so 44 polygons and 162 polygons a lot of tetrahedrons right now we have here but later we will remove uh, the one uh, the tetrahedrons which we don't need okay now uh, let's move further next rollout is damage and using damage you can uh, obviously add some damage to your object and uh, damage means simply remove some portions of your tetrahedrons and then glue uh, the rest of them together so to use this feature you need to check on this uh, check button and when this uh, interactive check button is on all the changes you will uh, make here you will see in real time here so the first one is remove all and remove all simply removes all the inner tetrahedrons here Uh, so inner tetrahedrons means that uh, tetrahedrons which don't have uh, polygons from the surface so uh, let's uh, I'll add edit poly on okay so you can see there's only this shell of tetrahedrons were left only surface tetrahedrons were left. So uh, let's delete it. Uh, also keep in mind that um, it's better to use several of damage types together. In this case you can get more interesting results. If you will use just one of the uh, one of the type it might look not so interesting. Next one is surface tets group and here we can define the amount of surface tets which you can which you want to hide. Uh, this first one is randomly uh, removes uh, surface tets so let's uh, remove 50 percent of surface tets i will get back all the inner tets and now i think i should show you this mesh rollout so it will looks interest more interesting than it looks right now first i will increase inner material id for interfaces so you will see all the interfaces right now and the next property is uh, this glue very important property so right now you can see there's uh, more than 1,000 uh, 100,000 of polygons right now 
all the inner threads are inside and when you hit this glue you remove all the inner threads uh, and you now you can see only the surface faces uh, there's now you can see there's much less polygons right now and another advantage of uh, this gluing is now we can see relax and tessellate uh, a little bit later I will show you what this means because it's hard to see on this random damage type okay this is pretty simple property just randomly removes surface threads next one is by size it also removes surface threads but starts from the smallest one uh, it provides slightly better result as you can see but let's turn it off as well so the next one is dense uh, dense means uh, that it will uh, that the modifier will remove spherical group of tetrahedrons so it's set here five uh, the size is very small right now this is uh, first one so let's set size to 10 okay now you can see how it start bite this geometry and actually add some damage here uh, the next property is variation here let's also add 10 uh, using this property you can add some variation into size <coughs> of this dance let's set here 50 okay now you can see that our object is damaged a little bit and this is why uh, you should start use this glue relax and tessellate feature because uh, original lattice uh, is uh, looks like lo looks a little bit sharp and using this tessellate using this relax property you can add some legs and make it look more natural and using tessellate you can add tessellation to this interfaces so now it start looks much more interesting and again uh, this works only when glue is, is uh, on so right now you again get back all the tetrahedrons so always use glue so uh, that's the, that was the dent uh, damage type uh, another next uh, property is only surface checkbox and now you can see that um, there's holes here, a lot of holes here. So when this checkbox is on, in this mode, it affects only surface tetrahedrons. All the inner tetrahedrons are left. And now we can remove all. Now we can see how it looks inside. Okay, let's get it. Let's get them back, and let's turn off only surface here, and turn off dense. Next one is scratches here. Uh, scratch uh, damage tab allows you to create oblong group uh, portions of uh, tetrahedrons so let's hit set here 5 and uh, now let's increase width let's say 5 again and increasing this length you will see how they start growing uh, they may uh, that might look like uh, some warm Eight all this uh, uh, tetrahedrons using bend you can uh, add some uh, bend bendiness to this uh, oblong portions so this is uh, right now it's turned off increasing it you can make them more angular okay uh, and again using variation you can add some variation into length and width let's say 550 and again, just uh, it, when you use just one of the type, it might look not so interesting. But if you use a little bit of that type and a little bit of another type and some by size, then it might start to look much more interesting. Okay, let's turn it off. And here is the most uh, interesting damage type is the noise. By default, it's turned off. So there is uh, four uh, noise map types. Uh, the most usable is value and see you can see how it simply removes uh, this, mm, portions of uh, the tricky drones using the uh, 3d noise map which is built in uh, but later we are going to add the way to use some other 3d maps so uh, right now only this built-in one available and using frequency you can well add some frequency i guess you know how to work with noise maps here 
using low value you can define uh, the threshold for white color and using this high you can define threshold for black color and again using this roughness you can define the roughness of uh, the surface so uh, if it will be zero you'll get uh, surface will be much smoother increasing it you'll get you'll add some roughness And again, uh, tuning all this only surface checkbox will make it affect only the surface tabs. And there is also other types which looks a little bit different from each other. And again, a very quick and easy way to add some damage to your objects even if you don't want to explode them or uh, simulate them still for someone might be very useful if you have a lot of object uh, and you add some damage to them you can do this, this snapshot property I will show later so next uh, group of options is options here and here you can invert your damage so uh, this is default damage uh, by this noise map and inverting damage you will get the opposite and uh, also there's a damage subobject helper here using this subobject you can prevent some of uh, the uh, area of your object from damaging and uh, using this invert gizmo checkbox you can actually invert this gizmo well very simple okay next property is pretty important one is minimum tests uh, so sometimes you may see that some of okay let's let me make it more rough and uh, decrease increase density here okay so here it is here you can see this uh, floating uh, island of tets uh, which are not connected to anything and using this uh, minimum tet spinner you can uh, hide such uh, such portions so if I will increase even higher. Okay, now we can see that uh, this portion uh, had about 330 uh, tetrahedrons, and uh, increasing this value, I can remove such floating uh, portions. Let's make. It, let me show you some other example. Okay, here another one. So here's this uh, floating portions, and I start increase minimum tests and they start disappear so might be very useful in case you don't want to have such uh, flowing elements uh, okay and the last one is seat well it's simply simply uh, create new damage using another seat and using the snapshot button you can create a copy of object Oops. so here's just an edible mesh and using this technique you can create a lot of uh, damaged uh, similar objects so you can change seat hit snapshot move it further change seat hit snapshot you get another damaged object change seat hit snapshot and so on so very quick and easy way to create a lot of damaged objects.